Mm. Okay. It's a pink mat. It's pink pink. There's a question that was posed to me the other day. I wanted to get you guys thoughts. What does progress feel like to you? Hmm. It's a big question. Progress in life. Progress in, I guess progress in life, yeah. Progress, what does it feel like? I think the person kept stressing. It's not what it looks like. What does it feel like? I don't know if there's a difference. That's a hard question. It's a hard... <laughs> it's a hard question. Mm. I don't have an answer. But what's the first thing that came to you? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear that? Or when you hear the word progress and then you see yourself, how do the two come together? Success. Success. Progress feels like success. Yeah, that's valid. I think so, yeah. Yeah. That today is better than yesterday. Mm. What does progress feel like to you? <laughs> How it feels like elevation, success, mm. and multiplication of mm. whatever you had. Yeah, it feels like moving. It's elevation. It's what it's. You know, it's almost like what everyone said. Yeah. It's moving forward. Yeah. For me, it feels like healing. I said that. I was like, it feels. It's healing because. Mm. For me, because what does it feel like? It feels like. Healing means I'm able to allow myself to do the things I dreamt about doing. Mm. So progress can only happen, for me, it could only happen when I feel like something in me is beginning to feel better. Mm. So progress feels like healing. Because for me, healing then defines progress. So one defines the other. But there are, there are several aspects or categories of progress. Yeah, because... Emotional, mm. business, yeah. you know, skills. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can progress in terms of your skills by yeah. learning more. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a big word. Because progress on the other side can also be development progress, like the progress of a country. Yes. Yeah. But what does it feel like, like? having more and having what you dreamt of, yeah. you know, acquiring. Yeah. yeah. It's a spectrum. It can be really, it can be something very intimate and personal then it can be something big. Yes. I just feel like the intimate and personal leads to the big. I think so, I could be wrong. I feel like in a, something in you that is progressing begins to show outside. Maybe it's just me. You mean me? It yeah, is in my head. It's the, all here. <laughs> no, the victory will start within you first. The victory will start within you. It was to the big <laughs> It's true though. <laughs> The victory within you. Within you, yeah. That's why I said healing. You have to see yourself, yeah. You have to see it before you can be it. Yes. So I think progress starts with, where did it, where did it start for you? Mm. Where did the success of your own business or scaling what you're doing, it started with what you saw, then what you did to get there. Yeah. So, so it's relative in terms of uh, interpretation. Because you can only progress as far as you can envision yourself. I like what you've said about it being, it's very relative. Progress is relative. Yes. Actually, that is the answer. <laughs> it's relative. Mm. For somebody, it's, I got out of bed today. Yeah. And that's progress. Yeah, for someone, it's a Lamborghini. This is it. Yeah. Or I got out of bed today and entered my Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> what but led yeah. you to asking that question? What led me to asking the question? There's something I'm working on. I'd actually addressed it briefly on my profile but it threw me off when it came as part of a conversation series we'll be having and I just thought I'd like to ask quite a number of people that like what does progress feel like some of the initial answers that came were actually pretty powerful um, but I think there's more to unpack so I'd also like to hear what people have to say. What does progress feel like? It's such a big relative question, but yeah, that's where it came from. And I haven't stopped thinking about it since. But we're almost done. Hey. Almost done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Baby girl. Baby girl, I am so pinked out. I see you, Mokeira. <laughs> it's cute though. Mm -hmm. Matches your nails. Amen. <laughs> Most it's in the details. Stay that way. Never change. A man who can notice nails. Tafadali. <laughs> who did it the other day? And I was just like, 
Thank you. It's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. Hair. Yeah. That's Make... why ladies call when they are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, could you just come? I want to show you the some. Government's done. A copy still... flow. Yeah. Still don't notice. I've, I've ever done a client and she says, if you want to notice that my is done today, mm. yeah. then I'm done. Yeah. Mm. Ouch. <laughs> is it really worth being Nini over? For, I think if it's too often that you do not realize that somebody's hair is but done, nice and... if you just never notice it, I feel like that's, if you know, if you know your partner likes being told so, and then you don't, or you're constantly forgetting to, then are you being intentional? Remember this movie, The Breakup? I, when, I, when you watch it now, it's too real. Yeah. Like when he says, she says, I want you to do the, di can you help me the dishes? The guests have gone. You're still watching TV. He's like, see, I'll watch. I'll play the video game, then I'll come. She's like, ah, watch her too. Then he's like, fine, let me come. Then she says, no, I want you to want to do the dishes. So he's like, what are you saying? But the whole point was, in the end, when they really had an argument, she's like, it's just that you don't seem to recognize the little things which I've said so many times. Many times yeah. For you, you think it's insignificant. Yeah, For it's me, <laughs> it's a burden. And then he's saying, in his mind, he's like, I don't understand. Are we arguing about lemons? Because she had told him to buy, I think, 12, six lemons. He bought three or something. And she's like, it's not about the lemons. It's just about the fact that you do this all the time. Mm. So, so I don't have to remind you. I don't have to remind you, if you know me, if you listen to me, if you hear me, if you see me, you'll know that there are certain things that just, I'm not even asking for much. I just want you sometimes to just Good recognize summer. the effort. Him, he didn't see, but it's a very nice movie. I mean, they fought. So in the end, some of the things she had suggested he does, you could see him doing, and then they even bumped into each other. I don't know, anyway. Hey, I've gone so far from one point <laughs> to this point. Well, it's still progress. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Progress part two is also <laughs> progressing to make the point. Progress is not linear. Just like this conversation was not linear. <laughs> it has taken corners. But figure out what progress feels like. It's important. The little ways and the big ways. Share what progress feels like to you. In the little ways and the big ways, because it's very personal, it's not linear. And sometimes also your definition of progress could change. It could have been something 10 years ago. That's for me, actually. It was something very different a few years ago. Now progress is just my ability to recognize that healing allows me to do the things that I've always wanted to do. So it's no longer progress is speaking on global stages. It is, but it's speaking on global stages with a conviction that I, I am now in a better place internally to work in a more efficient way, I think, so. So you mean it's beyond ticking the boxes? It's beyond ticking the boxes. It's what accompanies that. It's what drives you to tick the box. That's for me anyway. So I'd be very curious to hear from people what it feels like to them.